We had our first snowfall. It's the first snowfall and since 97 in October to be reached three inches. Tuesday Blues Day! Hey guys, Lex Style here. And I'm Bat Tracy for Tuesday Blues Day. Yes. It's 1029. It's 1029. You can fucking see. What comes out today, Bat? Literally not much. Oh, really? It's a Wonderful Life 4K and the Wizard of Oz 4K, I think, are the main things. I had a dream about a 4K last night. I don't remember what movie it was. Why is this clump here? Go away. I was really excited that it was coming out, but I don't know what it was. I think I got an email about it. I've seen all the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 4K stuff. Looks cool, don't it? Yeah, all the box sets and whatnot. I had a dream that I was 4K shopping. Oh, no, it wasn't a dream. PS5 was going to be 4K Blu-ray disc compatible. I would assume so. Yeah. It's also... I'm very excited about this, and you will to be too, as a physical media guy. Yeah. It said you have to... Get over! Uh, you have to use a physical disc to put in games, to play the games. They're not going to do digital, because it messes with one of the new features they have. So there's just no digital games then? I guess so. Unless it's, well, because it's backwards compatible, so I guess if you had it digitally, but for the, you have to buy the physical game to play it for the first time or something. Like, you can't install a game unless you have the disc. So I'm really excited about that. Because fuck everyone that likes digital games. I didn't realize you had that. Julian's. His joints. Yeah, I could never burn those fucking things. So I guess we can talk about it here, too. If you love us, go check out the brand new Pivotal Media video. Brand new Pivotal Media video. We are in it. We'll have the link in the description. It's really you in the flesh. I can't believe it. Actual cool guy. Yeah, it was great to meet a fan. And it'll be a good time, a jolly good old time. Yeah. You can either go to the link or you go to Toby Cool Get Spooked. That's what it's called. Pretty easy to. It's a good one. I play myself. No, you don't. That's my joke I've been making. I have the best line. I you have the best line. I should add it. Yeah, the whole video, or? Yeah. What do you think? He yeah, liked it. That's good. You grab him by the sweater sleeve, pull him up onto the ground, and you can hear the voice lost. I was really nice to go to the center. I just found out exactly where the actual Jimmy John's on our point road was. I never knew where it was. It's I just heard about it. Yeah, because the bakery right next to it's closing after like four months of business. Franklin kind of sucks. What? Franklin kind of sucks. Yeah. And I always never know where it is. It's the worst driveway. I usually pass it most of the time. I have to pull into Infinite, go around in the lights, and come back through. I've never been. You've never been to Franklin? No. Oh. I've been in two Jimmy John's my whole life. What, the one in Chicago and the one we work at? The one in the Hillside. Hillside? Yeah. It's Hillside. Is that the street? The, the, the Illinois one. I got broke down inside. Uh, yeah, leave you that. You've never been to Franklin? No. Cause that's what gets me up. I've had a thousand bad times. All oh, that you're doing and that's how you make crystal meth. I've been listening to a lot of Post Malone recently and by a lot of me and his new album Hollywood's Bleeding. I've been listening to that. Yeah, we always joke about the thing that is gonna tear us apart. You see, only, there's only gonna be one thing that can break us up and we never know what it's gonna be. And it's happening, folks. 
It's a good album. It's a really good album. I really like it. And you can't say it's not because you haven't even listened to the album. It's so boring. It's not. It's really good. Alright, we're here at the Best Buy. There's a so, I see a raccoon at the mini shopper mart. Wow! I don't know what that is. It's a bud. Oh, okay. Judy here on College Street with the raccoon at Shoppers Drug Mart. Hey, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I was saying this off camera, but I'll say it again. I think I'm going to call customer service or something and complain about this Best Buy. Because I'm tired of them not putting shit out the day it gets released. Like, so they just don't put certain stuff out, like, on their shelves at all, and then you just can't get it there. Like, they had a sign for Charlie's Angels, the 4K, which I released last week, and they still just don't have it out. It's like, just put your shit out. I got this one at 18 times go, came out a week ago. Why didn't they have it? It's like, they just don't put shit out. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So I got Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans, which is the good one. Though yeah. Teen Titans Go to the movies was really good. I'm excited to watch this one. Crack an egg on it. Caca! Caca! Mm. Crack an egg on it. Caca! Then I got the 4K of The Wizard of Oz, which, controversial opinion, I don't like this movie. Yeah. You like it. I don't. You've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. You liked it as a kid. Probably, yeah. But one I do like, it's one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. I thought it was your favorite. It's a Wonderful Life. The 4K. First time in 4K. This is such hey, a good so movie. Fun. It really, really is. It's about a guy who's gonna kill himself. And then an angel shows up and says, Hey, dude, don't do that. You have stuff to live for. And he's like, yeah, like what? And the angel's like, what about your wife and kid? And he's like, they can go fuck themselves. That's the plot. <laughs> yeah, that's the plot of the movie. Isn't it crazy how this came out seven years after this? and it's seven years improved. Sure. I do not like this movie. <laughs> I'm thinking about, since I bought it though, I'm gonna rewatch it. It'll look great on 4K. I'm gonna rewatch it, but uh, I don't have high hopes, because I do not like it. Was the last time you watched it? I was probably 10. <laughs> probably when I watched it, when I watched it. The yeah. first time, I think you were there. I'm going to the Yellow Brick Road, haha. <laughs> you just wanna go to this Dollar Tree? Sure. Okay, so we went into Westfield yeah. um, because our mom wanted us to go oh, to Dollar Tree to get to uh, Christmas <clears throat> wrapping paper, but they don't have any because it's not even it's Halloween yet. Yeah. But so I got this Phantom X Max comics from Westfield Comics because it was pretty cheap. It's about sexy secret agents, weird weaponry, vintage champagne, and a damsel in distress. It's everything Phantom X lives for unless it kills him first. What? That's not as interesting no. as... The other thing we saw in there, so this guy likes collects Marvel figures, yeah. and so we went and looked at them, and what character did we find? Rock Python. Rock Python. You know, the, the hit, Marvel the character. Hit Marvel character, Rock Python. <laughs> Have you ever heard of him? Because we haven't, and we you know wanna, a lot of characters. Do you want to go half-seas on a Rock Python figure right now? I really want to go buy it. Not right now. Do you now. have 10? No, okay. We've never heard of it. We looked him up. Uh, he oh, has... it's an actual snake. Yeah, the it's African a, rock yeah, python. Yeah. He uh, he wears a ball on his head. And he has hard skin, and he uses egg shaped bombs. He has hard bones. That, hard bones and skin. No, his skin was more. Oh, was his hard, skin was yeah, hard skin too. Skin was hard too. And he uses egg shaped grenades that tangle people in webs. So I don't know if that's a python then. Look at that fucking zoom in just on the head. Zoom in. No, I mean like I wanted them to see his fucking bowl. Yeah, there's the figure. It's, you're not zooming in, but. He what went, do you mean zooming in? I can't on the screen, look. Do this. Oh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh. Wow. Someone did concept art for Rock Python in the MCU. Wow, someone else cares. God, he wears a bowl on his set. It, it, it's it's not a bowl. It's like a snake's helmet, but it looks like a bowl. It's, it looks like he got done with Halloween and just turned up the candy bowl upside down. So I'm gonna buy that, that next week. It's a terrible week. fucking it's outfit. So bad. I'm totally buying it next week. I don't think it's gonna sell. Because it's fucking a guy named Rock Python. 
who the guy the, who owns the, owner, the comic store. The, yes, the owner of the comic shop. When asked about who we Rock asked him who it is, he said, "Yeah, the action figure." And then he was like, "As I was putting it up, I looked and went, who the hell is this guy?'" <laughs> so the guy who owns the comic book shop doesn't even know who this fucking character yeah. is. So, oh, he and Puff Adder survive, but are injured. Oh, that's such a bad sentence. He, along with Anaconda and Puff Adder, attacked Bad Girls, Inc., and was successful in capturing them, only to be attacked and thrown from their craft by Modam. He and Puff Adder survive, but are injured. That's how it's written. Because no one is moderating the Wikipedia page for Rock Panther. <laughs> Rock Python. Rock Panther. Well, I don't know why we thought it was so funny. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a great addition to my collection. It's going to replace, like, Black Knight. Because, like, Black Knight, it was always funny that I had that figure, because I was like, who the fuck's this guy? But now Kit Harrington's playing him in, um, that movie. Yeah. What's it called? I can't think of it. Not in humans. I can't remember which one it um, is. Um, the team-up. Eternals? Eternals, yeah, he's Black, Black Knight. Black Knight's not an Eternal. Supposedly he's Kit Harrington. But, uh... Black Knight's some a character I have no... I don't know much about, besides I've read the Wikipedia page. Yeah. And it's basically, like, it's like a lineage thing. Yeah. Where the sword gets passed through the family members, and then... The sword... It's like a curse where you have to use the sword... It has to drop blood once a month or something, or you lose your power or something, and you have to kill people. I don't know how it works. But, uh... If anyone knows about Black Knight, <laughs> let us know. Yeah. That's all we have for the Best Buy and the comic shop portion of this Tuesday Booster. I guess we can just do the outro now. Yeah. And we'll just drive home. Yeah. So. As always, like and favorite. I don't think favorite's a thing. Like, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because that actually does really help out. Uh, we just hit 250 subscribers hey. yesterday. That's super cool. Really happy about that. Yeah. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification um, bell so you always get us all the time. Yeah. Let us know, did you pick up anything this week? It's kind of a slow week. Um, so, yeah. I have been Lex Style. You can follow me on Instagram at Straight Edge Jerk. You can follow me on Instagram at Straight Edge Atheist Jerk and on Twitter at Idiot Doll. I'm Bat Tracy. You can follow me at Bat Tracy01 on Instagram, Twitter, and Stardust. You can follow us on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Punk Rock Blues. And you can pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com slash punk rock blues. Pledge three or more dollars and your name is in the outro. Just like Burnsy, our only example. Yeah. Eventually we'll save more people. Yeah. So, uh. That's all, folks. Yeah, stay tuned for an in depth look at ah. an in-depth deep dive into the life and career of Rock Python. We're totally doing that video. I think next week we should definitely buy that figure. Yeah. And then we should do a history of That's what I'm doing. Yeah. It's going to be so zany. I wish Boston <laughs> had his green screen set up. Okay, bye.